Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to discuss the use of a slingshot for bodybuilding. And the first thing you might be asking yourself is, why is a bodybuilder using a slingshot? Isn't that something that powerlifters use? And that's going to be the first thing I debunk in this video. A slingshot is an equipment, it's lifting gear, anyone can use it, and its purpose can be fully utilized by bodybuilders. And I'm going to explain how and why in this video. So if you've watched the Garage Gym uh, information playlist, you've seen this already. This is not technically a, a slingshot, it's a bench daddy. It's thicker and it's tougher to use. If you want to learn more, go check it out. But I'm going to refer to slingshots in general, which are implements that are going to make the bench easier. It's going to facilitate the bench press for multiple reasons. One, it adds elastic energy that helps you move more weight. Two, it's going to uh, reinforce proper form by tucking the elbows. And three, it's also going to create stability throughout the chest. So it's going to reduce the chance of the elbows flaring out, of the shoulders getting out of position, etc., etc. So that is, for the most part, what slingshots are used for. And if you've been on YouTube Fitness for a while, you might remember around 2016 that there was a big boom in the, in the uh, fitness industry that was... Uh, mainly focused on the slingshot. It was the new hot product, everyone talked about it, everyone had their own style or design of slingshot, etc. And I want to say that it was mostly engineered by marketing practices and that it really didn't deserve the hype that it got. And the truth is that you see that it was proof, proof uh, correct nowadays because almost no one talks about them anymore. It sort of, you know, faded away. And the reason why is because people realize that it's not a miracle, it's not magical. It's not going to add 50 pounds to your bench press, or at least not your raw bench. And that's sort of the illusion of the slingshot. And what I want to call out before I get to the real topic, which is, don't think that this is going to raise your raw bench. Because in my experience, it doesn't. And the reason why people got so hyped is that if you look at every single compound lifts, the big three is the one that people want to push the most and they want to progress the most. And the one out of the three that is the most frustrating for most people is the bench. Because it's the one that recruits the least amount of muscles and therefore is the toughest to progress on. And it's also the one that all bros care about. How much you bench is a question for a reason. And therefore, if someone comes up with a product that can magically add 40, 50, 60 pounds to your bench, people are going to be all over it. Why? Because they can just display its effectiveness. They can say, oh, this one is 15 pounds, when in reality it's like 30 or 40, and therefore they can overplay their PRs. Re uh, but realize that any bench you do with this, unless you are an equipped powerlifter, doesn't count, because it's not a raw bench. It's, it's a slingshot bench. It's completely different. So that's something to keep in mind, because via cognitive dissonance, a lot of people started pushing these as a way to raise the bench. And in my opinion, it, re it doesn't work like that. It might have a slight use, but carryover from your slingshot bench to your raw bench is minimal at best. The other way is not true. When your raw bench raises, your slingshot bench raises. And the reason why is, when you look at the strength curve and at what this does, it makes total sense. The slingshot deloads at the bottom because that's when all of the elastic energy is being stored and restored. And therefore, most of the chest area and the shoulder is going to be deloaded. And that, of course, makes the bench much, much easier because the sticking point for most people is going to be of the chest and when they need to then lock. So this is really an overload tool. It is great if you want to focus on tricep, but don't think this is going to make your chest grow. If anything, it might make it shrink. I would tell you that if you did only slingshot, slingshot bench for two months and you went back to row, you might find that you lost strength. It's a, it's a possibility. So now that this, this is uh, said, the reason why I wanted to introduce it this way is that I'm going to actually tell you to use it for bodybuilding. And so the question is why? Why is a bodybuilder, someone who is supposed to care about chest development, telling you to use an implement that deloads the chest? Because in reality, when you bench with this, you're losing tonnage on the chest because the tonnage is being absorbed by this guy. And so what I, and which is, again, tension, but it's different than knee sleeves, for example, or knee wraps, because the knee wraps deloads what the knee is handling, not necessarily the quads. It allows the tendon to uh, promote muscle activation at a higher level. This is, it stills muscle activity 100% because it's covering the muscle. 
So the reason why I'm going to encourage you to do this is because you can simply replace whatever bench tonnage and chest tonnage you would have gotten from this with something else in the program. And I have found that for people who have shoulder issues like myself, this is amazing. What I personally use it for, for hypertrophy is, I start the day using my slingshot. I warm up with the slingshot, I go up to 315, and then I'm going to go back to 205, 215, 225, 235, with, with whatever variation, and I'm going to do my normal set of pose bench, spotter press, close grip, and my shoulders are going to feel amazing. Why? Because this is going to allow you to go through the movement pattern. And regardless of if it deloads the shoulder or not, if it deloads the chest or not, mentally it does wonders because you're going to be able to move super heavy weight, much more than you can actually move, in full range of motions without any pain. And that cannot be understated. It is a great tool for your mental and uh, physical abilities to move the weight. A lot of pain is apprehension. It's thinking, I'm going to get hurt, it's going to hurt, and therefore it hurts. This is going to convince your brain that you're going to be fine, and you will. Um, again, I'm going to sort of chill for them, but this uh, saved my shoulder. I messed up my shoulder like an idiot two years ago, and I thought I would never be able to bench again, and I actually uh, rehabbed it with this. And I, I went through a rehab that maybe lasted four, five months, and now I'm able to bench row again for range of motion with zero pain. And uh, this was thanks to this. And so I would encourage you to try this in your training. And you can complement that with pose bench. I think it, it works really well with the pose bench. The spoto press works, the close grip bench, as I said, works as well. But always keep in mind, and I'm going to actually end the video on this because it's a short video, that this is stealing tonnage from the chest. Don't think that the sets you do with this equals a row bench. You're going to be really disappointed. You need to make up for it. And you're going to find also that even if you warm up with this, I personally would call it strength work, but the gist and the sort of the issue and the problematic of strength work is that it taxes you so that when you go into the rest of the workout, you have to be careful because the muscles that were uh, activated on the strength work are now tired or pre-activated, whatever you want to call it. This does the opposite. I just said it. It deloads the muscle. So what does it mean? It keeps them fresh. It's going to tire the triceps, but you're going to find that the triceps are they're not completely useless, but they're not as important as people think on the bench press. You rarely fail a bench press because of your tricep. And therefore, you'll be able to go into strength work, but by being completely fresh. It's a way to warm up without losing any effectiveness, while at the same time moving super heavy weight. And so that, for people with shoulder issues that still want to be able to press horizontally, is amazing. It's a, it's a lifesaver. And in my opinion, you can use any slingshot, but keep in mind one thing. You do not want to use the slingshot in a manner that differs from your actual form on the bench. Don't start doing some stuff where you touch here and then you push through the rack. You don't bench like this normally. Bench the way you're supposed to bench and make, uh, make modification of the slingshots if you need to, to make sure that you can have the same elbow flare you can touch the same spot on the chest and the bar path can be the same way. You will find also that, of course, because you start with this, it's going to reinform, uh, reinforce proper form, which is going to prevent injury on your strength work as well. So a big plus for anyone who thought that their shoulder was messed up forever. And uh, absolutely give it a try. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.